This is Guilherme Trevisan, and in this video I want to show you how to use my Startup Booster script. You can see here that I already recorded a comparison. The one on the left is default settings for Maya, so it's loading all the default plugins that start with the program. This means that it's going to take a really long time to start up. Now the one on the right has been optimized already, so you can see it takes only a few seconds to open the entire program and have Maya fully functional. So the idea here is to deactivate the auto load option for a few heavy plugins that come with Maya while giving you an easy way to load them back when necessary. Let's just wait a few more seconds for the one on the left to load. And now we can take a look on how to use it. You can find the startup booster under miscellaneous. If you don't have my scripts, you can find the link in the description below. So when you first open it, you're going to see a list of heavy plugins. The first thing you probably want to do is clicking refresh. You can see here that all these plugins are active, so it means that they are all auto-loading with Maya. So all these auto-load buttons here at the bottom, they deactivate or reactivate the auto-load function for these plugins. But what you probably want to do is click in optimize, so it deactivates everything. Now you can click in shelf button. This is going to add a button to your current shelf. I'm going to go ahead and add buttons for all these plugins. Now, if I ever need to use one of these plugins, I can just click on my shelf button and it will load that specific plugin for me. This is a one-time setup. So as you can see here, I'm going to restart Maya and it should already start a lot faster than before. Now, let's say I want to use Arnold. As you can see, it wasn't loaded with the program. I can just click here in Arnold and it will load it for me. The same thing goes for all the other plugins. As you can see here, if I click in uh, RS for Redshift, it will also load Redshift. And the buttons are going to stay in your shelf, so you don't ever have to go back to the, the script. Okay, but let's go back just one more time so we can see what else we can do. So this time, when I click in Refresh, it will take a little bit longer to load. You can see the loading bar in the left bottom corner. This is because the script is attempting to load every single one of the plugins to see if they are really installed. In this case, everything is already optimized, so you don't really need to worry about changing anything in this menu. I just want to show you one extra option here. If you're using other heavy plugins, let's say you're using another renderer, you can create a custom button for it here. For example, let's say I want to create one for Arnold. I can just enter the name of the plugin here, in this case, M2A. You can find these names by going to your plugin manager. In here, you can also deactivate the auto load function for whatever plugin you want. Okay, so let's say I want to create a custom button for Arnold. I can just go to the text field and type the name of the plugin and click in shelf button. Now you can see that in your current shelf, it created a button called custom. And if I click on it, it will try to load Arnold. So even if I didn't include a plugin that you want to optimize, you can always do it manually. Just come in here, enter whatever name you want, and click in Shelf button. If for some reason what you're trying to use needs a bunch of plugins loaded at the same time, you can just use Coma to separate the, the name of the plugins. And that's it. I hope this script is really helpful and save you a lot of time. Bye-bye.